Hello, sports fans, and welcome to Scott Sports 101 Browns early uh, get early games and late games, uh, post game shows, what we'll call it, since I didn't get a chance to do one after the Browns game ended. But the Browns got a huge win in Nashville today. They beat the Tennessee Titans 41 to 35 at LP Field in Nashville, Tennessee. The Browns really came out and played a very strong first half. But I felt the Browns and Kevin Stefanski uh, played a little too conservative in the second half. But because they let the Titans climb back into the game and the Titans would end up making it a one-possession game. Mayfield was on fire today. Uh, 25 of 33, carries and attempts and 334 yards. Four touchdown passes today in the game. Nick Chubb with another great performance. And Jarvis Lambie had a great game today. And Donovan Peoples-Jones ran a 75-yard TD uh, in, the, in the game today. But in the second half, the Browns did what they did when they played Dallas a few weeks back. They had a big lead at halftime. And then in the third and fourth quarters, for, uh, quarters they had too many penalties. And that's, and that's why they... And that's, what what let the Titans climb back right back into the game, and the Browns had to recover to recover two onside kicks in the final seconds of the fourth quarter to pull ahead and get the win over the Titans, the Tennessee Titans by the final of 41 to 35. Now the Browns led 38 to seven at halftime, and they really had a big lead and. I thought it was going to be even bigger than that, but it became a one-possession game in the fourth quarter. So this was really, they had to really uh, recover two onside kicks. And they, the uh, Titans scored uh, uh, two touchdowns in the first six minutes of the third quarter. And then two more in the fourth. And that's what why the Titans got back into this game. And so that's, that's the reason why. And But nonetheless, the Browns get the win. But I think Kevin Stefanski is going to say that the, the Browns have to cut down on the penalties. Uh, but this is one win that they can be proud of, and we can celebrate it uh, not only tonight, but tomorrow as well, a uh, victory Monday. And uh, I just feel that uh, uh, because a week from Monday here at First Energy Stadium, the, the Browns take on the Baltimore Ravens, and I feel that that is a must win. And the Browns do have a chance to beat Baltimore with them being without Lamar Jackson and uh, Mark uh, Ingram as well, because they have been slipping. And but they played Dallas on Tuesday, so. But nonetheless, the Browns win, forty-one to thirty-five. They now have a record of nine and three, and th and last time uh, they were nine and three was nineteen ninety-four. So the Browns are nine and three for the first time since nineteen ninety-four. Now it's time to give out the game balls for today's Browns game. Baker Mayfield, 25 of 33, carries and attempts, 334 yards, four touchdowns, uh, pass, four touchdown passes, no interceptions. Nick Chubb, 18 carries, eight, 80 yards, one touchdown on the rushing end, one uh, uh, reception, 26 yards on the receiving end of the ball. Richard Higgins, six receptions, 95 yards, one touchdown. And no interceptions. Uh, Donovan Peoples-Jones, two receptions, 92 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. And Jarvis Landry, uh, eight receptions, 62 yards, and one touch, one touchdown, and no interceptions. Now I and I just feel this is one win the Browns fans can really be celebrating and be proud of, and. Uh, but Baker Mayfield, he had a career day, and he Browns can really gain some respect from this win. And if they can really, they've got the, after the Ravens, they've got the Giants, the Jets, and Pittsburgh. And as I've said on my pregame show, if they can win all five of these, or four to five, or three out of five of these games, they are in, they are getting closer to the to a playoff uh, spot. And then, and I really think they are going to be in the playoffs for the first time. Uh, in 17 years. So uh, the Browns win 41 to 35 today. And right now I'm going to go over the rest of today's action. Uh, 
the uh, New Orleans Saints beat the uh, Atlanta Falcons 21 to 16 at uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium in, in Atlanta, and I got a. This is one of those games where the lead seesawed back and forth, and uh, I got to give the game balls to to the Saints. I got to give credit to the Saints, and uh, the game balls will go to the Saints. Uh, the uh, and they will go to uh, first. It's uh, Taysom uh, Taysom Hill. Uh, uh, 27 of uh, 37 carries and attempts, 232 uh, yards, uh, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Alvin Kamara, uh, 15 carries, 98 yard or 88 yards, excuse me, one touchdown. Michael Thomas, nine receptions, 105 yards, but did not score a touchdown. But the uh, Saints get the win. Uh, the uh, Jack, the uh, Minnesota Vikings beat the Jacksonville Jaguars in overtime today, 27-24. And I give the game ball to Kirk Cousins. And uh, because they they fought their way back, and it, it went into overtime, tied at 24. And Jacksonville had the lead, but they just couldn't. They let it slip. And so Minnesota gets the win in this one. Uh, the uh, Chicago Bears, actually the Detroit Lions, excuse me, Beat the Chicago Bears at Soldier Field 34-30. The Bears had a chance, and they had the lead, and they let it slip. And they, uh, the uh, Bears get the win in this one. And Matt Stafford gets the game ball. And uh, uh, the uh, Lions go to 5-7, and seven, and the Bears fall to 5-7. and seven. Uh, The... Uh, Miami Dolphins beat the Cincinnati Bengals in a low-scoring game today at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, 19-7. And uh, I tell you, uh, and uh, Cincinnati, uh, they they lost seven to three, but Miami came back and they just and they and uh, Tua uh, Tagovailoa gets the game ball, and along with. Uh, Matt uh, Gaskin and uh, Mitch uh, and Matt uh, Gesky, uh, and uh, I gotta tell you, they really Miami just came back and won this one. It was a low-scoring one, but Miami gets the win. Uh, the uh, Indianapolis Colts beat the Houston Texans twenty-six to twenty, and uh, uh, Houston hat and Kent. Uh, uh, Indianapolis led pretty much throughout this game, and uh, and they led pretty much throughout it, this game, and get, they uh, uh, just uh, could not uh, get over the hurdle to get the win. They had tied, they were tied at seven, but they just could not take the lead in this one. They well, they had a 10-7 lead, excuse me, but. Uh, uh, Indianapolis would take over, and they would, uh, but uh, th then they would come back. Uh, they would be down, uh, but then Indianapolis would take over, and they would get the win. They, Houston would come back to score 20, for, to get up to 20, but they just couldn't get over the hurdle to get the win. So uh, it's uh, Phil Rivers to get the ball, the game ball today. And... Uh, uh, Justin Taylor and uh, uh, Tyrone Hilton. So, uh, it's, so it's uh, this was one of those days where the Texans just could not get the win. Uh, the uh, L.A. Raiders, after being uh, down 28-24, they come back and they beat the Jets 31 to 28, and uh, the Jets fought all 12, and they're still looking to get their first win of the season. So. Jets will have to regroup. Uh, and uh, Derek Carr gets the game ball. The New York Giants beat the Seattle Seahawks 17-12 to uh, in this one today. And uh, this was one of those games where anything could happen. And I, I was quite surprised. 
And I've got to give the game ball uh, to uh, Colt McCoy. Former Brown Colt McCoy gets the game ball. So, uh, and along with uh, Wayne, Ga Wayne Gallman and uh, uh, and uh, Evan Ingram. So this was one of those games where uh, the Seahawks just did not have it. The uh, L.A. Rams beat the Arizona Cardinals 38 to 28 at University of Phoenix Stadium in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And I gotta give the game ball to Jared Goff in this one. Uh, they had a chance, the Cardinals, but they just could not get past the hurdle. And the uh, Rams led pretty much throughout this game. So uh, the uh, New England Patriots just all over the LA Chargers, 45 to nothing at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, near Los Angeles. And Cam Newton, he gets the game ball automatically. He gets it. And the Green Bay Packers beat the Philadelphia Eagles at legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And uh, I give it to Aaron Rodgers and Aaron Jones' the game ball. And the Eagles just, uh, they. They had, uh, they just had, had their problems today. Uh, they, uh, had a 3 nothing lead, and, uh, but then, uh, Green Bay would take over, and they were not able to get over the hurdles, so that's why Green Bay, uh, gets the, the, uh, game balls, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Jones, and Devontae Adams. And uh, right now, the uh, Kansas City Chiefs are taking on the Denver Broncos, and there's about six or seven left in the fourth quarter, and KC is leading 19-16 to 16 right now, and I think KC will get the win in this one and, and go to 11-1, and one. and I just really think, I don't think Denver's going to be able to get over that hurdle, so we will see what happens. Washington and Pittsburgh take on... Uh, Washington takes on Pittsburgh tomorrow on Monday Night Football. Uh, in the early game at 5 o'clock in the late game at 8.20 on Monday Night Football. It'll be the Bills and uh, uh, Niners from University of Phoenix Stadium in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, because they can't play in San Francisco because of COVID-19 issues. And the Washington and Pittsburgh game is at Hinesville in Pittsburgh. And the Cowboys and Ravens will square off at M&T Bank Stadium on Tuesday on Fox. Once again, and so uh, once again, the Browns get the win, forty-one to thirty-five. And uh, I am nine and two on my picks right now. My brother-in-law Eric Hoyle is uh, seven and, and three right now. So we'll let you, I'll let you know who wins uh, on who won it on Tuesday. Uh, and hopefully, I will have an update show on the uh, Sunday night game between the. Uh, uh, the uh, Chiefs and Broncos tomorrow, tonight, or tomorrow. Uh, what, what? Nonetheless, the Browns win 41-35. Huge win going to 9-3 for the first time since 1994. So you can celebrate it at, on a victory Monday. Uh, well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 Browns uh, early and late games, post-game show, Sunday night football update show. Uh and I'll be back with a Sunday Night Football update show uh, either tonight or tomorrow. And Monday Night Football pregame postgame show tomorrow. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. 3, 2, 1. I'm done.